Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of um, We Come As Pixels. Today, of course, I got my pal, Seal Club, as usual, he's here. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, tell you what we're going to talk about today. Um, first off, I would like to say uh, thank you for the support uh, for over the past couple of days. Um, since Monday, we have gotten more views and more likes on the uh, YouTube and more comments than I've ever received. And that's kind of what I was hoping for with this podcast is that I would kind of grow my channel a little bit. So I'm kind of glad that we're finally getting that going. I got to make sure that my PlayStation party is still up and running because I don't know if Still can hear me. And no, he cannot. Uh, so if you guys will give me just a second, I'm going to try to figure out why... Uh, First thing, uh, I do want to apologize to everybody for that delay, because apparently, like, computers just want to mess up today while we're trying to get ready to do this podcast. I will uh, definitely go and cut that off of the beginning. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, skip to the first 15 minutes of the stream, and then you'll hear us start talking. <laughs> <laughs> you you'll hear me say something that other can you hear me now you know I sound like the guy from Verizon um from those commercials a long time ago but uh, uh can you do me a favor seal yeah you have twitch on your phone right twitch yes can you go on your phone and uh try to host me cuz i want to see if my alerts are popping up Thank you, Crazy, for the host. I heard it. Did it go off, though? Let me see. Because Crazy just hosted me. Go off, go off. How do I, how do I host? Okay, so you just press, like, the little arrow pointing towards, like, uh, towards the side where there's a, uh, like, a action thing. The, the alerts are working, though. So that's a good thing. Um... Yeah, it's weird. If you have an iPhone, it's different. Um, thanks for the host, Crazy. And I'm glad the emotes are working. So today, if you haven't guessed it already because of the screen that I've got popped up. Well, not yet, I don't. Because of the screen that I have popped up right now, uh, we are talking about one of the biggest games right now. If not the biggest game right now. And that is Fortnite. Um... It's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> I think it's like that for a lot of people. It's a great game. It's fun to play. Um, but, of course, there are some problems with it. Like there is with every game. Um, like, uh, they'll get fixed eventually. And if not, like, nothing's perfect. So, uh, but this game is probably the best game out right now, I think, for sure. We've had a lot of fun with it. I mean, a lot of fun. <clears throat> yeah, and I know a lot of people that have had a lot of fun with it. I At first, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I actually do. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in this game, more time in this game than I've spent in any other game in a long time. Um, I think that the only game that like is as near to as much as I spend in this game is probably Destiny 1. That was the only other game that I've actually spent this much time in. And of course, like the Kingdom Hearts series and the Final Fantasy games. But other yeah, than true. that, other than that, uh, those games are the only games I actually took the time and, and worked through. And this game is so much different than those games that it's actually kind of weird. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's the best free game ever. Uh, that is 100% correct, crazy. Um... Yeah, hundred percent correct. Best free game ever. Like, there's so much content. Yeah, and like they just keep coming. Like, obviously the new stuff isn't free. Uh, that's coming. Like the updates and stuff are, but like the costumes and stuff. But you have to pay for something. So uh, they yeah, have to make but, their money well, somewhere. We'll talk about those. Costumes yeah, that's gonna come later in, in the minute. stream. Yeah, but um, like I want to actually. The first thing I really want to talk about in this game is how big this game actually is. Uh, as know, of, what was it like 45 million <clears throat> concurrent players? Or something no, like that? no, it wasn't that high. That was like they had 45 million players actually downloaded 45 million do downloaded. Yeah. yeah, but uh, this past weekend there was 3.4 million concurrent players, which is 
outrageous still. Like forty five million would have been a little little much. Um <clears throat> but yeah. three point four million but, concurrent players. Uh I don't think I'm playing every day. Yeah, so and I'm no, not gonna that, lie that, that totals or is that Yeah, that's year? worldwide totals, I'm pretty sure. Uh man. That's but a lot of people. It is a lot of people. It is a lot of people. If it was only the US it'd be a lot more uh than it actually is. Like there's three point four million if there was only three point four in the United States alone, then that would be outrageous, but like you got to think that that's not like not everybody plays video games. So 3.4, um, that is outrageous. Uh, so many people are are coming onto this game and playing it every single day. It takes up their life. So I give props to Epic Games for that because uh, other I'm pretty sure that the only other game that was doing that for the longest time was Destiny One. Destiny Two has lost a lot yeah. of its fan base. We'll talk about that in a different stream eventually. Um, yeah, but, I definitely want to get to that too. Yeah, we'll um, definitely we'll definitely hit Destiny at at some point. Uh, we'll talk about both games. Because they're so, like, I don't know. We don't want it to go. I don't want to go there today because that's a whole different story I don't want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a, yeah, it's just it's um, a lot of emotion yeah. uh, talking about that game. So, uh, first thing, uh, we should talk about today's update. Uh, I think, um, obviously. Uh, yeah, today's update with the, uh, the new pulse grenade. Yeah, there's a new I pulse grenade. Cool. It, it's awesome looking. I have actually not got to play it yet because I just got back home. Uh, from a doctor's appointment with myself and my little brother, so uh, yeah, I didn't. I haven't got to play it yet, but that's probably going to be the first thing I do once the stream's over. Um, yeah, I played one match. Did you? Uh, yeah. But I'll definitely uh, figure out a way to get uh, like the new pulse grenade into a game, and we'll look for it in our next game, and I'll post it whether win or lose. So. Um, also, is today the day that they're getting rid of SMGs for sure? Uh, I'm not for sure. Not now. In the update, I played a match after the update, and if there were SMGs. They were the only ones I saw were silenced SMGs. There were okay. So map. silenced SMGs are staying. Only the original SMGs are leaving. I believe so. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I, th I didn't get any. I didn't get any out of a chest today. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Um, a lot of people were having a problem with the SMGs. I personally uh, liked them for like close range, and it was good. Like if I couldn't find a shotgun in the very it beginning. It was good at the very beginning of a match. Yeah, yeah if I couldn't but... find a shotgun, but once the shotgun came into play, I mean, I was getting rid of it for like a silence pistol because silence pistols dropped more frequently. Um, so I'm I'm yeah. kind of glad yeah, that true. uh, they actually did get rid of the SMGs if that is gone today. Um, there's a lot like the like new said, season starting soon as well so that'll be something that's yeah great. like five days five days from now yeah I think it's less than that I think it's four now uh, you is might have to now? you might have to check it and uh, tell me if I'm wrong but I think it is actually four days um, I can actually do <laughs> that right now <laughs> yeah I decided but, uh, to keep it on PlayStation Day because I wanted to show the screen since we are talking about Fortnite I don't really have any uh, um, trailers that I want to share for this game because everybody's already seen them uh, Kingdom Hearts was a little bit different this game is just going to be a talk uh, so there obviously is so much good about this game and we're going to talk about a lot of the good in this game. But I, at first, I do want to talk about a couple of the things that I see that are actually kind of a problem. Um, yeah. Agreed. First thing uh, is the shotguns. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Okay. Um, Here's my biggest problem with shotguns. You go There's ahead. not consistent damage. If they did consistent damage and it wasn't left up to RNG. If they just gave us a base damage value for a body shot and a head shot, I think it would just be a lot better than the RNG because there's a lot of times you would win an engagement because you tag the guy in the head like four times, but it does like 
six damage or 22 damage or 40 damage. Exactly. You know, and he does one blast you with one shot. Like, he turns you know? around where he should uh, be dead and just shoots you right in the face. Well, he should be dead and just shoots you right in the face and you're dead. And you're like, I should have won that engagement mm -hmm. because I had the drop on him. I hit more shots than he did, but yet he just turned around because he has a pump and it's totally RNG chance. He just happened to hit that shot. Um, <clears throat> I, I have a real problem with that. And that's, and you know, like, that's the one thing I get really, really upset about. Like, that's the biggest play, thing. Yes. I'm pretty sure that that's the biggest thing that upsets <laughs> everybody in this game is the fact, like, obviously this game is RNG, like, most of this game. But, like, yes. ARs and a all this stuff, when you hit the shot, they do consistent damage. However, yeah. with the shotgun, you can get any amount of damage at any time when you hit them. So, like exactly. you said, you I... Think I run up on and somebody really and I have my shotgun out. I hit him in the face. It does eight damage. He's at the same distance. Obviously, he hits me for 220. That's kind of a little bit of a problem. Um, yeah. Agreed. Like, it's a huge problem. And it's something I think they really need to look into fixing. And I know they've heard the feedback mm -hmm. on it and they're looking into it. Um because it's not something that can just be fixed. Yeah, like, like it'll take time, obviously, and that's why I'm still playing the game. Yeah. If it was something that they weren't going to fix, I would probably be like, okay, well, this isn't fair. Uh, I'm going to go yeah, ahead and get and out of it. Five days. Yeah. Five days from now. Yeah, so everything, it's good, uh, but that is a minor problem that I think needs fixed. Another thing is the res glitch. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. When you're resing your partner, it tells you that he's been rezzed, but then he's still on the ground. He's still on the ground. Yeah, that's a big, big, big problem. That the reason, and like, it's, it's cause, because because something that happens infrequently either. It's something that actually happens quite a bit. Frequently. It happens quite a bit, and um, to be honest, like, it would be okay. Ah. Uh, like, it's something that needs fixed because if there's somebody running up on you, you want to try to yeah. get your partner up as quick as possible, especially if you've only got, like, three or four seconds left, and you want to get them up as quick as possible so that way you can turn around and kill the guy who's rushing up on you. But then if you get yeah. to the 100, nine times, like, it's happened to us so many times where we get all the way down to the res, and then we let it go because it's rezzed, we turn around to fight the guy, and our partner is still on the ground. When still it, on the ground. Yeah, and we could, like, we would definitely win. Yeah. We would definitely win the battle if it was two because it's only one guy, even with the 30 health. Yeah. So, that's a little problem. that Like, it'll definitely be fixed. Again, they're looking into it. It has been addressed by the community. So, yeah. um, and, and, you know, I know they're doing these, um, these uh, accuracy tests because the bloom is just outrageous. Uh, in some cases, you know, you could be 10 feet from somebody and not hit any shots and or they'll be same distance from you and hit. Yeah, that's know, that's why they had the and you're dead. Yeah, that's why they had the training uh, that training thing set up that they had this past f uh, couple weeks. I think that it might still be up actually uh, where yeah. they were testing stuff that they wanted the community to uh, give them feedback on. And I like the stuff that was added into it. I like the red dot that they had going where it's a guaranteed 100%, you know, it'll if you hit. hit them, if you actually aim at their head and hit them, it'll hit. Yeah, yeah. so that's good. I think that you that's know, I, smart. I did like that. Um, so... Those are, like, those really are the only two problems... Uh, Oh, well, there's one more. The, um, the only thing I see with that mode is burst rifles. Burst mm -hmm. rifles were incredibly powerful in that, in well, that test. Another thing that they could do is probably, like, drop the uh, second and third hit for the burst rifles. That would be a smart thing if they were going to do that. It, only when the dot's there, though. When the dot's there, it drops the second and third hit. And then when the dot's yeah. not there, it's fine. I think that that would be a smart thing to do. Uh, it makes the burst rifles a little bit less powerful. Um, yeah, they could do that. So it still gives you that clean hit, but it's less damage. Um, yeah. Because no, I agree with that. I'm I mean, a pers it's, personally there's a lot of different things they could do to to fix it. You know, it's just it's going to take time, and 
I'm gonna still be playing the game no matter what, no matter how mad I get at it. Yeah, like it's, it's uh, too much fun not to play. I am done with this game. If doesn't know me for tonight. Play with me, like <laughs> yeah, I'm done with this freaking game for tonight. Yeah, you know, that's that's my uh, that's my catchphrase now. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, that was the greatest thing I've ever heard. Uh, uh, a lot of you guys probably don't know, but me and So were playing one night. We were doing some duos, and he got shotgun in the face about that RNG problem. And he goes, I am done with this game for tonight. It was so funny. He was so <laughs> mad when he said, I'm done with this game. But then everything was calm. And he was like, for tonight. And it was it was just a great thing. Um, but the third and last thing that I really think is a problem is uh, the teaming up problem. And yes. I haven't seen it a lot a lot, but I have seen it in solo matches, especially. Um, I don't think we've ran into it in duos or squads, but in solo matches, um, I think we only ran into it like a couple times in, yeah. in duos uh, when we'd be building a base and then two teams attack us at the same time, and they they could be like, you know, a hundred feet away from each other to the left and the right, and then they're attacking our base instead of attacking each other. And then they're not fighting each other after that either. They're turning around. Yeah, Yeah, so, like... They're turning around and running away. Yeah, exactly. So that's one of the main things I think is... is, uh, That's the main problem I actually have with the game. Like Other than the shotguns, that's the main thing, is the fact that they're... And I know that they're trying to catch the people, because they've already banned people for doing it. I mean, they banned a YouTuber... uh, I don't know if he was banned indefinitely. Yeah, they did. And but, he wasn't even teaming. Yeah, he just he goes. saw a guy and then he was like he thought it was his friend, so he said, I'll kill you later and he ran the opposite direction and they considered that teaming up. Which in a sense it kind of is because he let the guy live. But uh, again, yeah. um so that's proof that they're kind of like they're cracking down on it. Yeah. Uh so, uh, like again, um, they, they it's seem, a problem that'll fix. They it, seem to really they're pay listening to that stuff, and they seem to really be on top of it. And and they are actually listening mm-hmm. to people about the problems. And um, I mean, they put out a weekly updates to fix things, and <clears throat> excuse me, to fix all kinds of things in the game. You know, like um, not only what, fix what it, one but of like the major problems that we had a while back. Um, oh. Well, they f- uh, well, I mean, for one, the the, the scope they are, you know, they mm-hmm. used to be yeah, that's a big one. Awful, awful, and they they're still pretty bad, but they're not they're not as viable as the regular assault rifle, but um, they are a lot more accurate now. Yeah, exactly. Like they're they're good, and they'll be good, and whenever the update comes out too, so they'll be pretty powerful when the. The, if they keep the accuracy thing with the strength training, training which I do think that they're going yeah. to do because a lot of people seem to like it. <clears throat> um, another thing that I really don't like, uh, and I'll, I, I know a few people don't like I know you don't like it. This is actually probably, I think I, I kind of fibbed when I said that the shotgun thing was my biggest problem with this game. Um, that's probably my second biggest problem with this game. Uh, the biggest problem I actually have with this game is is the fact that uh, mouse keyboard and keyboard and users, and PC, players. Uh, yeah. PC players is fine, um, but keyboard and mouse players I don't think should be allowed on console. And I don't think if you're playing on PC, that, if you're playing on PC, because you're able to play with a, a, a controller on PC, I think that in order to play this game with console players, you should have to connect connect a controller and play on a controller not use a mouse I and agree with that 100% and my biggest problem <clears throat> with the PC players or the people that can use a mouse and keyboard for this game because if you're going to release a game on console it should be played with the original console connections like a controller exactly uh, you know it, you if you can outbuild outshoot yeah um, cuz like have they have so much more accuracy yeah. mm-hmm. against people with a controller because, you know, a lot of people can't afford to just go out and buy a keyboard and mouse for their PlayStation because they're $40 a piece. And even if they could, you know, like, some people like... Plug and play. Yeah. But some people like myself, uh, like, I have a 50-inch screen TV, you know, and most yeah. uh, most mouse and keyboards are they're USB, and they connect, like, right in the front of the PlayStation, and you can't scoot back far mm-hmm. enough to play 
on a 50th screen TV. Exactly. <laughs> you know? TV. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, like, it's my choice to play on the 50-inch TV, of course. But, yeah. uh... And that's well, for a, me. I've got a 55-inch Samsung, you know. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, exactly. I've, so, got a, I've got a curved TV, and uh, it's it's like really it's literally impossible. It's, it's impossible to be up close and play. It's just you can't. So um, to be know, able, to, like, exactly. So to be able to use the mouse and keyboard, they do get an accuracy advantage because wherever the mouse is is where they're going to shoot. Um. Like that's just how it happens. Wherever their mouse is, that's where they're gonna build. Like they're quick. Yeah. Like the it's only a, way to combat that would be to get a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard, and those are expensive. You know, Fifty, sixty dollars a piece. They're expensive, so it's you like know, and, it's just something that I, I, I think. I just don't feel like uh, as a Fortnite player, I don't feel like I should have to go out and buy extra equipment just so that I can outplay somebody that you know is better off financially than I am. Yeah, exactly. So um, I feel like you know it's. it's they should they should keep the fact I love that it's cross platform. It's one of the only games out right now that is, and I'm able to play with my friends on uh, p- computer, and I hope to one day be able to play with my friends on Xbox as well. Um, so I yeah, love that. Cool. I love it. Uh, but I do wish that there was a, f- a thing that made PC players when they played have to use a controller if they're going to hook up with a PlayStation mm-hmm. player. I feel like that would, or a Xbox player as well. Like that's like, either way it goes, they should have to use a controller if they're playing with somebody on console, just to make it more fair for the people on console. Because you you will outshoot a person with a controller if you have a mouse and keyboard, unless you're really that bad. Exactly, and that's one of the <clears> things you know. I watch watch a lot of these streamers uh, play, man, and um, you can tell when they count against somebody that's that's using a controller, or if they get into a lobby that just, you know, happens to be a bunch of PS4 players, you know, because that does happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can they can switch lobbies and switch servers, you know, and um, they can end up be, being put in the game with people with controllers, and they just have zero chance yeah. of, of survival against these guys. Um, and I'm not taking away from the guys that you know, stream and play, they're very, very good. Oh, yeah, very talented, all of them are. You know, um, but as as just a casual gamer, you know, which is what I consider myself, I'm, I like to consider myself competitive, but I'm not good enough to be competitive. <laughs> oh, that's debatable. Like am, that gets de- that's debatable. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, so, so I have my good days and bad days, but, um, you know, it's just, it's one of those things that's really hard to to talk crap on because I do have p- friends that are on PC that I would love to play with mm-hmm. but at the same time if I don't voice my opinion about it I'm being a hypocrite yeah you know so uh, that's that's just my take on it oh yeah I agree 100% but like I said I think that if they uh, took away the mouse and keyboard factor and made them play with a controller if they're going to play with somebody with a controller it would just be a whole lot better and we would still be able to play with yeah, the I friends agree. and it w- I think that would just work out a lot better than it does now um, I definitely agree with that let's get to some good stuff let's yeah we, some we're going to get to get some games. I want to do one more thing that like it's not happened yet and I don't want it to happen that's why I want to talk about this and then we're going to get to a lot of good stuff in okay. this game because this game has so much good it's going to outweigh the bad stuff that we said which is great and like I said it's not oh, yeah. so much that it's bad it's just things that can be fixed so I'm not like trying to yes. put this game down at all because it doesn't need it. It's like it's as close to perfect as a game is right now, um, and the people that created it, Epic Games, are just they're doing a phenomenal job with the community. So I, I would not down this game at all. There just are th- minor things that I think can be a little bit better. That's just my intake. Um, there are people out there that yeah. agree with me, and there are people that probably disagree. Um, so obviously. Um, but the last thing I want to talk about that could be a problem, it is not a problem yet, but it could be, is the fact that they're trying to put um, skill-based matchmaking. Uh, I do Here's not. That's my biggest problem. I with do that. not want that. I don't either, and I'll tell you why. Destiny did it with them, and it turned every single match into a sweaty just a sweaty sweaty match where there was no like <clears throat> chill 
for a little bit and play the game, mm -hmm. you know, and just chill and kill people and have fun with it. It just turned every single match into a slip fest. And that's what it'll be like in Fortnite. Like, you will have to be at the top of your game every, every single, single game. game. Yes. And that's just not something that I want to do. You know, if I want to play a game, I want to play it for fun so that I can, you know, come in, play with friends, chill out for a little bit, have some fun. You know, sometimes it, you need to get sweaty in the middle of a match, you know, mm -hmm. face a good team in the middle of a match or something, you know, and you get sweaty. But then you can calm them back down. You know, you find a few people that are just, you know, not very good at the game and or new. You murder them and yeah. feel good about yourself and um, you know, and then you move on or, or you get or you get murdered yourself, you know, and, and that's that's where it needs to stay. It needs to stay at a surprise. Skill gap. There mm -hmm. has to be a skill gap. Uh yeah, that's what I'm saying too. Like it's a battle royale game. Um there aren't any battle royales that have skill based ma base matchmaking yet. Um, <clears throat> so I don't think that this one should do it. Like you said, it would turn every match, like, it, like I don't want to come it, across a bunch of players yeah. who are as good as I am when I play this game. Yeah, um, exactly, because that's, that's rough. I mean, and like, especially if it's, like, every single team is that way, you're just, like... Like, it's going to be God, tough. When is it going to end? Know? Like, everybody's going to just keep coming. Yeah. And, like, I'm not saying, obviously, I'm not the best. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is, like, when they are at that, that the same level that I am in the game, then it's going to be tough for me because... Um, but, I mean, as a console player, you know, you're, you're pushing on over 70 wins. You know, I've got over 105 wins now myself. And, mm -hmm. you know, so we're not bad players at all. Exactly. Just, so, uh, you know, we don't want to we don't want to sweat every single time. game. Yeah. Like some games I want to come yeah. in. I'm like, let's go in. Let's win this match. Some games I I'm like let's go in let's drop in tilted towers and try to get some kills you know <laughs> so yeah it's like just we did like last night, you yeah know, we like went in like five or six matches and just went to tilted towers and just wrecked stuff and had like, fun and like we weren't trying to win we were just like getting traps yeah getting laying traps down getting kills like that like trying to find a new fun way to play uh, and I also there's exactly. some challenges that I want to attempt to do with you as well so like we're gonna talk about that on our own time. Uh, that I can possibly cool. put on our channels. Um, but now that we've talked about the things that aren't necessarily bad, but can't be fixed, let's get into some good stuff about this game. Uh, <clears throat> one of the main things that I think is great about this game is how, like, the cartooniness of it. Like, it's just a big meme fest the whole time. Yeah, uh, it is a big meme fest the whole time, and that's, that's the perfect word for it. Is I, I love the fact that they went with a lighter tone than uh you know PUBG or something like that where it's it's very realistic and it's very pretty you know but at the same time there's no real character yeah to it and there's a lot of character to this game and that's what I love about it is there is so much character you know the dances the emotes mm -hmm. the um, different pickaxes you can get you know I've got a freaking pickaxe that's like a little shark on a on a harpoon <laughs> it's so funny you know? I mean you don't get that in any other game. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, they add so many emotes, so many new costumes. We'll talk about those in a minute, too. Um, so the gliders are awesome. Uh, yeah, but, there's only one negative thing I will talk about during the costume section, but we'll talk about that when we get to that point. Um, <laughs> but I think it's so, like, it's such a nice game. It's fun to play. I don't have to come in and feel like, like, there's PUBG, which is a great game as well, and there's H1Z1, which is fun, and there's another one I can't remember the name of, but um, that's not the point. Is is this game took brought in the memes, okay, and it made uh, it so much better because like everybody that plays video games, everybody who doesn't play video games loves memes. Um, if you don't love memes, then there's a problem. Uh, you're not a very happy person. Agreed. <laughs> you know. Agreed. Uh, I mean, we send each other memes on PlayStation Network all the time. time. Yeah, every day. Uh, <laughs> so if you don't like memes, like this, obviously isn't the game for you. <laughs> uh, but I I love the like how like colorful it is. I love the like the little pickaxes, like you said the, um, and how different they are, like. Like you said, you have a shark on a harpoon. Like, what is that? What are you doing at the exactly. games? You're... And I use it. And I use it to beat trees into <laughs> yeah. submission. Yeah. Wood. Or people, if they get in your way. <laughs> or people, if they get in your way. Yeah. So I think. Knock them down. You're getting chomped. 
Exactly. It's so funny. Uh, and then they got the slurp, uh, the slurp pickaxe, which is awesome. Every like, I like it all. Um, but let's talk about some of the costumes. That's what I want to talk about today. Uh, the, for the main part, like we'll talk a little bit about yeah. gliders, a little bit about the pickaxes. But I think the main thing that people actually purchase in this game are the emotes and the costumes. We'll talk about the emotes after. Um, yeah, the costumes are really cool, and I love that they're so derpy looking. They're they're so mean, they, like, like some of the, yeah. Some of them are like they're so meme like like you can make memes out of them like hundred percent. It'd be easy to do, and. And then some of them are just really cool looking too. You know, you got like the the real slick uh, Asian lady. I can't remember what the name of it is. That she's looked like an assassin. You know, she looked really cool. Oh, the spy one. Uh, yeah. And then I you have things like the. And then you have the ones you know the uh, like with the the bright bomber with the unicorn mm -hmm. llama looking thing on on the front. And then you got the one you get with the battle pass. It's all glittery and like lights all flashing. Yeah, the disco um, on the costume. Yeah. Um, and then you have like the new bear, you know, the new bear is just so derpy looking. And I love it. Yeah. Who can forget the, like, the, the, uh, the nutcracker, <laughs> you know? Oh uh, yeah. The nutcracker dude. Like I wanted that too. I wanted that really bad. I just couldn't afford it. But th that was like, those are the positives, you know, the, the costumes are so good. The only negative that I have about it is the price man oh man they are expensive they are expensive that uh, is true uh <laughs> like bring down the price just a little bit you don't have to bring it down a lot obviously you do want to spend but like i don't yeah, i don't want to spend 25 dollars like on spend yeah on one costume exactly, yeah, exactly. maybe like uh, 25 dollars yeah. on like five i feel like 500 v bucks like would be right the best way i feel like the best way to remedy that I mean, even if they took it down to a thousand, that would be a lot more approachable than for me to want to spend that money dollars. than, than twenty five. Because mm -hmm. I mean, that's twenty five dollars. You know, you can take your girlfriend to the movies for that. Yeah, or know, dinner. Like, like you can that. go get a nice dinner for twenty five. Yeah. You can't yeah, do both. Exactly. You, you can't do both. Can the... <laughs> but you can't no, do. You can't do both, but you can do one <laughs> or the other. And, exactly. Um, Luckily, my girlfriend loves movies as much as I do, so we'd probably end up going to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, like twenty five, like that's outrageous. Uh, I I love the bear costume, yeah, but I'm not gonna like. Like I really wanted to get it, but I was like, I can't afford to 25, spend an extra yeah. twenty five dollars right now, and, and <clears> I didn't want to spend an extra twenty five dollars if I if I had the money, I would have. Like, there's no doubt. About no, it. yeah, there's no doubt. Um, uh. But uh. But I shouldn't have the extra money, and that's. Mm -hmm. I think that they just come down on the price a little bit, like bring it down by a thousand V bucks for the legendaries. If uh, if it's purple, you know, do like do sense. like eight hundred or nine hundred for that. And yeah. then if it's blue, take it down like five hundred. You know, a, a, a blue costume shouldn't be ten dollars. It's just it's it's crazy yeah, how expensive they are. Even even how they are. Not, I love like I love. For some reason, hold on a second. So, for some reason, it's breaking up. They're just really expensive. Okay, there we go. Uh, for some reason, it was breaking up there for a second. Uh, I don't know why it was going on. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you're good, though. Um, but yeah, like they are very expensive. Uh, and to be honest, if they brought the price down, they would probably make more money than what it is now because more people would be able to afford it. More people would buy it. I know that. Well, yeah, exactly. And and that's the thing is, uh, you know, a lot of people can only afford to buy certain items, you know, on their payday. Mm -hmm. And if that item's already gone from the stock, well, they they just missed out on opportunity for twenty five dollars, you know, because the items they wanted is not there. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the situation I ran into. Is like I really wanted that bear costume, but it was so expensive. I was like, okay, well, I I have to wait till I get paid. But now it's now gone. It's, now it's gone, and um, you know they could have had that that money from me, but they lost out on that opportunity, and and that's something I feel like they should really kind of look into because monetization is a really really tricky subject. Mm -hmm right now especially after ea and bungie and activision and and uh, every all the crap that they pulled uh this past year you know it's a really tricky subject so making the game free was a really good step charging too much for their costumes 
a lot of people are pretty upset about it. Yeah, which, I mean, eventually they'll probably end up seeing it, and they'll be like, okay, so let's bring this price down. Um, because Epic Games, I feel like they are probably one of the best companies right now. I'm not just saying that. I'm just like, I'm, uh, I am legit. Oh, I agree. Um, ev like, every game that they put out is free, isn't it? Like, Paragon well, as far was as free. Community participation, yeah, Paragon was free. Um, I mean, as far as community participation and um, you know, listening to the community feedback and acting upon it, Epic Games is at the top of their game right now. Exactly. So, like, and they release these games that are free to play games that are epic games. <laughs> like, no yeah, pun. I mean, there's no way, no other way to. Yeah, they're, uh, they're um, epic. You know, put. Oh come on now, you intended Yeah, I that, did intend to <laughs> I did intend to pun that. But uh yeah, like it's it's such a good um like all their games that I've played have just been really good. Um I don't want to use the same pun I already used. Uh <laughs> but it, it's true, like uh, they they they're they're high quality games at a very low price if you don't want to spend any money. Exactly. Which is free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. So, um, like, if you have it downloaded and Fortnite, I'm going to put in the description on, on my YouTube channel the link for you to download Fortnite because that's just, it deserves yeah. it. Like, 3.4 concurrent, you know, the, the million save the concurrent. World mode, it, it, it's, it's pretty cool, but it's a lot better if you play with friends on the Save the World. I think I'm you actually going to end buy up it buying it. I do, I do think I'm going to end up buying the Save the World because it does give you V-Bucks, which maybe that's the reason that they uh, are so expensive because they're trying to get you to buy the uh yeah, but Save you gotta you gotta farm for like four or five hours to get like 250, 300 V bucks. You know, it's it's not like it just comes easy. Oh yeah, um, in the Save the World mode. So I mean, you gotta put some hours into it. And here lately, you know, I just wanted to chill with uh, you and our friends and and play Battle Royale. You know, that's that's like my favorite thing to do um, outside of playing Kingdom Hearts. Um, you know, and and you know, Destiny Two is making a little bit of a comeback. Yeah. I've heard that this uh, new mode's new mode's really good, but uh, I'm still <clears> gonna <throat> probably choose Fortnite over Destiny 2 any day. Yeah. Um. Can you hear me? I'm making sure you can still hear me. Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, I was just making sure because for some reason. Um. But yeah, like it should be a little bit. Uh, it should be. I think the costumes should be a little bit cheaper. But like you said, the games are so the games that they're producing are so great. And um, but yeah, the, I'm pretty sure I I would say I have not played the Save the World mode at all. So um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. The the Save the World mode's pretty fun. But, um, but we were talking about the costumes, and we we're gonna get into the emotes. Um, the emotes are really cool. I really oh, yeah. like them, and I love that they're modeled after different dances. You know, dances that are mm. in the real world, you know, like the the very like the free one, the one that you start the game with, is Turk from Scrubs, and that, and if you put it side by side, the dance is exactly the same, and I love that. Yeah, I do too. And then they have like they added the Carlton in, which uh, cost it, what was it five hundred uh, V bucks? I yeah, think five hundred V bucks. Um, I love that dance. Uh, I was I was kind of hoping that when Destiny started doing the emote thing, that uh, they would add in that dance. Actually, to be honest, they did. Did they? they I, did. Never they did. I never bought no, it. I never bought it. I never saw that it was out. Uh, but then in Destiny One, like you had to like, you had to buy the boxes in order to get emotes too. So like there was a yeah. chance that you weren't going to get it. So. But when they came mm. out with that for this game, I was extremely happy that they brought it in because I love that dance. It's so funny, and I like I loved that show growing up. Um, <clears throat> and it's oh, just yeah. well, like I mean, you put just, it right beside, the like you said. Get you is it's all nostalgia. Yeah, and like you said, like you put them right beside the person doing the dance in real life, and it goes beat for beat with it. Yeah, exactly. So and I that's think what I love about it. I, I laughed so hard when I saw that. It was Turk from Scrubs. Oh, yeah. And, like, it was one of those things that I, like, realized it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, that's from Scrubs. <laughs> 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 I 
like and you can't turn the angle angle to around to where you're facing your character which i don't like yeah because i like i would try to turn it around so i could see the front <laughs> but exactly. i could never do chance. it yeah um but i understand why and i'm kind of glad that that's not a thing um to be honest uh <clears throat> But I like the emotes they add. I think that that price could come down just a little bit as well. Um, obviously, I agree. I think two hundred and fifty for an emote is is totally high enough. I think. Yeah. So like, make all the emotes purple, <laughs> except for the ones that mm -hmm. you give away in the battle pass and that are free, and then yeah. um, sell them all for like two fifty, three hundred maybe. That gives you uh, four or five, or four, three or four um, emotes per thousand V bucks that you buy. And if you're forcing, like, obviously they're not forcing, but if you want to purchase V bucks, the lowest that you can purchase is a thousand. So three or Which four emotes, yeah. yeah, three or four emotes for a thousand is not that bad for ten bucks. I don't think. I think that that's a fair price. Um, well, if I, you know, I was spending like ten bucks every payday just put ten dollars into it and get a thousand or i was farming for them and save the mm -hmm. world um you know and uh, it just got to be where like they were bringing out so many each week and i was like i can't keep up with this and i really want these but i can't i'm not gonna spend fifty dollars you know to to buy it all at once you know it's just that's too much that's the price of the game and um you know i've, I've already spent more than fifty dollars uh just getting stuff Mm -hmm. in this game over the course of you know three or four months yeah um, i spent about fifty dollars total and uh and, and it's easy to save the world it's easy but, uh, to do that yeah, it's easy and, and you don't and you don't pay attention to it so you know with the whole loot box problem they were having i know these are not boxes you know what you're getting when you buy it but that want to buy it's a cartoony aspect um, so kids that play the game are going to really want them. And if mm -hmm. they've got, you know, mom and dad's credit card connected to their, uh, machine, oh, geez. you know, they, <laughs> they'll spend a lot of money. Like I, I know someone that has done this, you know, um, and they got in a lot of trouble and didn't get to play for a long time. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so I think, you know, who I'm talking about. <laughs> do I? <laughs> uh, yeah. Was it a uh, she? We not get to play with for about a month and a half. Was it the she? Yeah. Okay. Now I know who you're talking about. I had to make sure. Um, but yeah, that's like other than the price, like all of it's great. I love the emos. I love the costumes. I love the pickaxes. Yeah. Like they're very well done. Even the gliders, like the gliders are so unique and so like oh, I love. Man. I, I love. I bought the storm glider, and Did that you? is my favorite glider so far. It looks like a storm is on your glider. You can see it like striking lightning while you're flying down mm -hmm. somewhere. It's really cool. <laughs> my favorite one is the one that's the disco one that has like the uh, the disco lights and stuff. Yeah, on the top of it. That's my favorite one. You get it from doing uh, the battle pass stuff, and then yes, that's my favorite one. That's the one I use currently. But then I like the umbrellas the most. To be honest, like I love, like they're both really? free. Yeah, I love flying in as Mary Poppins, you know. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So like all that's great. I wish that they would bring some more, um, some more uh, umbrellas to it. Like I would buy an umbrella, you know, a cool looking mm -hmm. umbrella. I wish they would do that. Uh, I do. Well, they added a teddy bear called Bear Force One today. Did they? And. I'm they're supposed a lot to be of people are actually having problems with it because it blocks your vision. Does it? That kind it's of so sense. big it blocks your vision. You can't see where you're landing. Yeah. Maybe they'll make it smaller or something. They'll smaller it or something. An uh, another thing that they might be adding. I don't know if you've seen it or not, and I don't know if anybody watching has seen it. I wish that I would have pulled this up. Um, they're adding a like a. They might be adding a dragon glider. That I looks saw that. That would be really cool. so cool. Like I feel like that would be another the same problem they're having with the teddy bear. They would have with that, where the dragon would be too big because it looks humongous, but it does look really freaking cool. Um, it's red and uh, like it's like. Well, it'd be really cool if it waved in the wind while you were flying down. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Like a dragon, like yeah. a Chinese dragon. Like the tail. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty cool. Um. 
But I wonder what else they're going to do with that, because if they're adding the dragon in, then they have to add, like, something else to do with dragons, I would think, like an outfit or something. Maybe not. You know, the one thing that I'm confused that they haven't added in is a llama. Well, they have the llama pickaxe. Why haven't they added... Well, they have the llama pickaxe, so why don't they have a llama glider? That is a true like, I would love to glide in on a llama. That'd be really <laughs> cool. Or even, even like, ride it, you know? Like, ride it down. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. Um, and a llama is a big thing in this game too, so like it's kind of yeah. the symbol of Fortnite. It is the symbol of Fortnite. Yeah, I mean that's that's uh, the pinatas that you bust and save the world is uh, are llamas. I haven't played Save the World, so I wouldn't know that. Thanks for spoiling it for yeah. me. <laughs> um, my bad. My bad. <laughs> it's all right. Now you know. Um, so another thing that they added today, which is really cool, is vertical hearing. Which I know a lot of yes. people are glad that they added that in. Me being one, where they can act, where you can actually hear if a chest or if somebody is above or below you. So um, yeah. that is a really good thing. I don't know how it works. I haven't played it yet, so I'm looking well, forward see, to seeing. I've always been able to kind of hear that because my girlfriend bought me the the Sony Platinum headset mm -hmm. that has the 3D hearing, yeah. so I can hear stuff that's like above and around me. Yeah, but now everybody can. <laughs> But not everybody can, yeah. So that's cool. Like that's really good. I'm glad that they added that in, to where I can actually hear what's going on, uh, above and below me, as well as, like who, like where everybody's at. So that exactly. I feel like that works a lot. I wonder if like if there's somebody below and above you, like in Tilted Towers, if you'll be able, to, like how you would be able to hear which one is where. And be able to distinguish. Yeah, that's one at, thing yeah. that I am wondering. I'm kind of curious about that myself. I'll have to I'm listen. I'll, have to, I'll get. We'll, we'll definitely drop into Tilt the Towers and see how it works at some point tonight. Um, there's only a few more things that we really have left to talk about this game because we pretty much covered everything. Um, yep. Like, I didn't intend for this one to be as long as the Kingdom Hearts one. I don't intend for... Uh, any of the ones to be as long as the Kingdom Hearts one was. The only reason that the Kingdom Hearts one was as long as it was is because it's such an important it's game we love to me. So much. Yeah, which I, I mean, I yeah. love this game too, but like it also was the first actual episode, so I wanted to drag it out a little bit longer and like make it like a pilot for a TV show. Um, yeah, exactly. Well, I just I want people to you know experience the games we love through you know through our voices and, exactly and, and, and hear, want like, to buy them we talk about these things or and, or get them for and, free actually, yeah i actually want to buy them and get them <laughs> free yeah because fortnite is free guys fortnite is free i'm not saying that uh i'm free uh, giving out pr free uh information for epic games here and you know oh, i'm not asking for anything yeah i'm not saying that i would like some merch for you know, free, but you know, if you give it to me, that at all, but... if you give it to me, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. You know. um, there are uh, new game modes coming out in the future that they've released for us to know about. Yes. I'm really excited for. Uh, I'm. I want to see what this blitz mode is, which is where the matches are shorter. So I'm wondering if like you're dropping it with less people, or. Like I what's... think that man, it's probably going to be either on a smaller area of the map, be regulated to a smaller area of the map, mm -hmm. or the storms are going to be a lot quicker. Well, that that there's another game mode coming out called Shorter Time Between Circles. Yeah. So if that's the case, then like Blitz mode and that game mode would be the same thing. Like It'd be the same thing. Yeah. Uh, but exactly. that I'm excited to see what that one is. I'm excited for all these actually. Um, drop into the first circle, so that like, I'm guessing that that has a circle already, and you have to drop mm -hmm. into that circle and loot up wherever you land in that circle. So that would make the map much much smaller, um, and like more chaos, more chances to kill. Uh, I do want. If they're they're doing all these game modes, um, we're gonna continue talking about the rest of them in a minute. They're doing all those game modes. I like that they have solo wins. I like they have duo wins. I like that they have squad wins. But I wish that they would make these game modes to where you can either choose to do them single, duo, or squad for one. So mm -hmm. that way, if I want to jump in by myself or I want to jump in with other person, we don't have to face both squads or actually fill. 
Um, that's exactly, that's yeah. one I, thing. I think having the option for it to be single or duo or squad would be fantastic on every game mode. That's one thing that I want. And another thing that I really, really want is to see for it to track my wins when I get it. Because yeah. all the other game modes that have come, like the sniper, uh, silence, uh, or, NG, or the silence mode only, rockets, whenever you won the match, it didn't count towards a win for you. So uh, I would like to, for that really? to happen. Yeah, I would like for that to come. I didn't know that. It did not count. So I thought that was part <clears throat> of my win pool. Nope. All of your win pool is from actually squads, so solos, and duos. So. Wow. Okay. Which it that sucks kind of because I I got like five or six kill it. or five or six wins and snipers only. Yeah, like we we had like five or six wins together in snipers and you had one solo. Yeah, exactly. So, um, like I dropped in by myself with no fill and actually got the win. Obviously, I didn't get that many kills. Uh, Cause I was like, I dropped into an area that didn't have very many people, but when I got to the end, I killed the last two people. So, um, yeah. which is impressive, and it's not to say the least. It's still impressive in itself. Yeah. But uh, especially on console. Yeah. So, uh, but it sucks that that they actually didn't count it as a win for me. Kind of sad. Um, but uh, a couple of other game modes that are coming are like. Uh, the custom variations of um, 50v50. So mm -hmm. I'm wondering if that's going to be like four teams of 25 or 10 teams of 10. You know, like what's going to happen there? That would be cool. Maybe add in a new part to the squad where you can actually team up with five people because um, obviously 100 is divisible by five as well as four. So have 20 teams of five. Yeah. I think that would be really cool too. Um, because. That would be really cool. I have a lot of friends that want to play Fortnite. There are so many people playing Fortnite now, and we like everybody has a lot of friends if they're playing on a console or on a PC, more than likely. And I can't play with them all at one time. So maybe either make like a fifth or a fourth type of game mode, or mm -hmm. uh, make squads five people. I think would be awesome, and it'd make it a little bit more challenging. Five or even six man teams would be great. Well, six men aren't as indivisible by a hundred, so. Well, true. But I'm thinking like five. You know, twenty teams of five. That's not really that bad. And if you want to go in that's solo, yeah. that would be pretty epic if you could kill all five people. I would like to see somebody kill all five people of a team by themselves. I would too. Because be I mean, cool. it's really cool when you do it against I four like people. That. But imagine if you could do it against five. You know, you always want to get better. <laughs> I've only killed a team of four like maybe three times in my whole Fortnite career. I've killed a team of four a couple and it times. Was, but it was pretty nothing epic to brag about each time. Nothing to brag about. Like that one time no, we were playing. Go, just up your shoulder. And uh, that, that one time that we were playing and uh, I come out of that house, that whole team of four was there and I took down three of them and Bree cleaned up. That was pretty good. Yep. <laughs> There's some. Yep, we got some pretty. That. We got some pretty good matches. And then a uh, limited time game mode that's possibly coming is uh, Floor is Lava. Which sounds, Ooh, sounds cool. awesome because you won't be able to touch the ground. You'll always have to be up. What would be cool is if they start you with full materials and you have to, you know, build as a team to reach the next circle. Yeah, I'm wondering how they're going to do yeah, that. That would be. And I don't know how they're going to do it, but it'd be really cool to just have, like, one massive sky base and everybody battling up in the sky. Yeah, that would be cool. And, like, make it harder to destroy material so that way you can't shoot somebody's material out from underneath them and make them hit the floor. Um, yeah. So what I think is, like, possibly it won't kill you when you touch the ground, but if you're touching the ground, um, actually, like, grass and water and stuff like that instead of, like houses Family. floors you can touch like the floors of houses is what i'm guessing got something. I don't know what it is. but like if you touch the ground like the outside gra uh the grass then i think that it should like do a little bit of damage at a time kind of like the circle does yeah and that's how that they would do that i, th I feel like that's how it would work um, that'd be cool yeah i'd like that so there's two or last even things seeing, even seeing stuff that would set you on fire that'd be pretty cool yeah that would be cool like too overtime damage yeah, for a few seconds. 
Um, another yeah. thing that I think would be pretty cool. Uh, well, not not that way. Okay, so I I, I kind of I don't know where I was going with that. To be honest with you, um, there's two more things that I want to talk about before we cut it. Um, one of them being is like, what type of guns would you like to see be brought in the Fortnite? Either from uh, the PVE side, because I really don't know what's on the PVE side, or just in general, like what would you like to see come into Fortnite? Swords. <laughs> My main deal is swords, man. Swords would be awesome. Or like any melee and weapon. If they added animations, if they added animations where you could like stab someone and lift them up with it, like that would be so <laughs> cool. You just fling them off your head. Like, like get, that, get, that would be awesome. Like get melee weapons that were a little bit, like do more damage than a pickaxe. What do you mean? Yes. Obviously, it yes. shouldn't do as much damage as a gun. Uh, no, it shouldn't do as much damage as a gun, but it maybe twenty five more than a pickaxe. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I kind of feel also like with some of these um, skins and and things like that, that if you're going to spend that much money on them, you know, it should have a, a little bit more damage, even if it's like two points more, um, to just to farm a little bit faster or something like that. You know, like it wouldn't do extra damage to a player, but it would do extra. Uh, damage to a wall to to take it down faster, or to farm faster. Yeah. I think that would be a pretty cool addition. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, uh, the only problem I would have with that is people thinking that I was like a pay to play. Uh, pay to win, yeah. Yeah, so like, yeah, that would be cool in a sense, but then it would kind of take the fun out of it because everybody's kind of equal in the sense, you know? Yeah. Um, That's true. Um, well, another thing that I would like to see uh, personally would be silent snipers. Um, silent snipers would be really cool because they wouldn't be able to tell where you're hitting them from, uh, and, uh, or to hear the shot. Um, like obviously, it should do less damage because it's got the suppressor on it, but yes. like it makes it harder for you to hear it. Like, which I mean, the crossbow is kind of like that. Um, to a sense, but it's different. I want to hold a sniper <laughs> instead of a crossbow. Like I like the crossbows. Yeah, I think exactly. It's a cool thing. I'm wondering if the crossbows are limited time though, because of Valentine's Day, because they do have Cupid's kiss. And that's one I thing. Don't know. I'm I, I kind of hope not, because I like the crossbows. I, I really do too. Do. I, I really like shooting people from really far distance. I like sniping people with crossbows. That's really fun. And hitting those super exactly, long shots. Yeah. One thing I would like to see is them to keep the crossbows. Maybe take the kiss thing off because it is Cupid and it's like final. Uh, uh, Valentine's Day is over. Maybe take that off and make it just like a whizzing sound, like a like one yeah. of those. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. But like, um, maybe uh, put the meters like they have with snipers when you shoot somebody with a crossbow, or maybe even any oh. weapon. Uh, because you do hit some really long um, a a AR oh, yeah. I mean, burst I've AR hit, shots. I've definitely hit, I've definitely hit uh, over 200 meter shots <clears throat> with a crossbow. Yeah, exactly. So, And even with like ARs and burst rifles and stuff like that, after you kill them, I think it should show the meters that they were at. Because it's cool to see it. And I like that they added that with sniper rifles. Um, but it'd be cool if they added it with all the weapons so I could see how actually how far I killed somebody in the game with all my mm -hmm. weapons. That would be cool. Um, that would be really cool, yeah. So that's those, those are the main things I want brought into the game. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is uh, there is a lot... Well, not a, well there's a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, holidays coming up, obviously. There's... Mm -hmm. um, Easter, Easter St. Patrick's Day, Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of yeah, July. Memorial Day, Fourth of July. Yeah, uh, a lot of, and, and I would like to see an event for each one. Yeah. You know? um, I mean, I guarantee you, dude, if they bring out a fighting Irish leprechaun as a character, I am gonna definitely going to buy that. I'm definitely going to buy. <laughs> I, I'm really hoping that they bring a leprechaun into the game uh, for St. Patrick's Day. That was what yes. I was going to say. And then for um, like Memorial Day, maybe have Uncle Sam. <laughs> I think that would be yeah, funny. And be then, cool, yeah. like, they eat, like they have the derpy bear for Valentine's Day. Have a derpy Easter bunny, you know? 
Um, you know, or Fourth of July, I have like a costume with a top hat that has sparklers shooting sparks out at the yeah, top, you know, just, something like that. And then for gliders too, and emotes, like have the emote of like we want you, <laughs> Uncle Sam, we want you. Yeah, well, th- I mean that's the only thing. I think that would be cool, like have a glider of like your nation's flag. You know, you can. Oh, that'd be so cool want, too. Yeah, like come down like whatever nation's flag, and it's flapping in the wind. You know. And that way people could be like, oh, well, I'm facing off with these Americans or these Japanese people or these people from Saudi Arabia. You know, I think that would be really cool to be able to yeah. show your pride. And like Other than the, the ski guy was kind of kind of kind of OK as far as being able to choose like your nation's colors. But I like, just think it'd be a little bit cooler to like fly down with your flag flying in the wind like America, you know. You know? Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Uh, and like, make that an all-time <laughs> buy. Like, you could buy that at any time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think that they should do that for a lot more items, like the items that aren't for specific holidays. I think that you should be able to go into the store, click on it, and find it. You know, and buy it right there. Yeah. And then maybe have the items that are for um, special occasions, like the derpy bear or the uh, nutcracker when it was here, uh, the zombie and the skeleton for Halloween. Um, yeah. Have like it available for the whole month that that is. Cause I know the nutcracker was available for a very long time, but there is one other thing that I think that I would like to see in the battle Royale and it's from save the world. And it's, the enemy types like the zombies the sniper zombies and stuff like that mm-hmm. i think that if you find one of them on the map and you kill it, uh, it make it a tough battle you know like it can do some damage to you you know mm-hmm. but if you kill it you get a specialized weapon i feel like you know, if you in, did in that match. though i feel like if you did that though um more people would be looking for the zombies instead of looking for other people well, I mean, they would still have to be on the lookout for the people. They'd still have to get to the circle on time. You know, they'd still have to loot, um, <clears throat> loot items and get better items, you know, to do that. But I just feel like it'd be like, you know, one one monster somewhere on the map, you know, make it pretty tough to take down. Yeah. Um, because if you're firing at this, if your team's firing at this monster, you know, you're going to attract other teams and it's going to bring people to it and they're going to try to kill you and then take the special weapon. Mm -hmm. I just think it'd be something cool to kind of throw in there. Maybe, like, have it, like, even, like, glow on the map, you know? Uh, So that way, like, places like Tilted Towers won't always be able to fill it up, but the zombie will be, you know? More teams will drop on. Exactly, yeah, you know, something like that. That'd be something, but... uh, That, I think, would just kind of be something to kind of throw in there to... to, Make it a little bit different make it a little bit different, you know, take out the monotony of it, because you know a hundred people are going to go to Delta Towers, and mm-hmm. there's going to be like four people that go to Greasy Grove, and, you hey. know, mm-hmm. it's just, it, it'll spread it out a little bit more evenly. Yeah, and there's places on the map that aren't even touched anymore, so, uh, like, it would show, oh, yeah. like, it would show up in different places every time, so that way these places that aren't getting touched anymore could be, you know? So, exactly, yeah. Um. Uh, the last thing well, that's pretty much all I've got uh, the last thing that I really want to see in Fortnite and this is the last thing we're going to talk about tonight um, is custom matches uh, a lot of games yes. have custom matches uh, I know personally uh, with the stream going and the YouTube going one day I would like to have enough viewers come into the stream to where I could create a custom match with a hundred people that are watching me play uh yeah, and my friends as well, and just battle, and just out, battle with out with all these people instead of having to, like, get into a server, you know. So I feel like. Well, I mean, that would not that would bring the community closer together. <clears throat> exactly. Because if you're doing a custom game with that many people, mm-hmm. and you know they're your viewers, then they're engaged, and not only uh, Fortnite the game, but they're also engaged with your community. Um, other people will see it. You know, they're like, hey, dude, I'm playing this match with this streamer right now. And then more people will come in and there'd be people that don't have Fortnite that would download it. And mm-hmm. we just have a strong concurrent player base. And exactly. And constantly keep it strong. And not only would the player base stay strong, but also it would help out, like, the big <laughs> communities. Like, obviously, I'm not a big community. But I mean, like, all these communities that actually are, 
you know, it would help them out. It would help, like, get their viewers interacting with their stream more. And, like, it would exactly. just... Exactly. I feel like that would be a really cool thing. And I feel like because they have given the opportunity for custom games for certain people that are streaming Fortnite, maybe it will. Maybe eventually uh, custom games will come into the match. They just wanted to test it out. Um, hopefully it does. It's something I would really like to see. It's something like maybe I could choose where I want the map to start and then it could fix itself from there. So obviously I wouldn't have an exactly, advantage. Yeah. But um, maybe like the smaller circle thing that I was talking about where you have to drop into the circle. Maybe that's how all custom matches could be. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. So I feel like that would be an awesome thing that uh, the, for the Epic Games could add into the Fortnite community that would make this game so much better than it already is even though it's such a great game already yeah i mean there's there's so many possibilities and, and they left it open-ended like that i think on purpose mm -hmm. because there's so much stuff they can add to the game at a moment's notice and and that's what i love about it is because it's a game that seems pretty easy to create content for um it seems pretty easy to add weapons and and fix certain things it's it's a real open-ended game and i love it i love there's a lot of things I love about it. There's some things I don't. But as far as a time waster or just something to get on with your friends, you know, Fortnite is a fantastic game. Mm -hmm. I think everybody that plays any type of shooter genre should try it. And even if you uh, don't, if like, don't play yeah, shooters, I think definitely. they should try it, you know. Because I know people who <laughs> don't, don't play shooters. Yeah, I know people who don't play shooters <laughs> that have gotten in this game and really, really love it. Um, like I said, when I put this up yeah. on YouTube in just a little bit, it'll be about 30 minutes from now. Um, the description, in the description, the link to Fortnite will be there for people to download it. Um, yes. Get it, the game, play with us, have some fun, shoot uh, some faces. Yeah, exactly. If you, and you can't download it to your PlayStation or your Xbox from the link, obviously. You can download it to the PC, and right now you can still play with us on PC without a controller. So if you want to, uh, I will also put my um, gamer tag for Epic Games in the description. Uh, <clears throat> and anytime I'm playing, more than likely Seal's playing too. <laughs> so, True. Um, with <laughs> that being pretty said, pretty much mains on this game together. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, it's been great, guys. I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, this chat because I do love Fortnite so much um, I really hope that you guys uh, watching enjoy this game as much as me and still do and that uh, if you don't and you haven't played it yet that you'll get to play it uh, and you'll enjoy it just as much as we do thank you guys for stopping by yeah and even the building aspect Thanks so uh, always man i uh, Thanks for joining. Uh, thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Hope to see you guys on Fortnite. Hope to get some kills on you guys. Uh, I'll see you all very soon. Have a good night.